Hi, my name is Carrie McMaster, and welcome to Markets.com's special report on the world's top five richest bachelors, why women should and shouldn't be dating these men. The woman can reap many benefits in taking an eligible bachelor off the market when his net worth is in the billions. Contrary to the popular saying that money doesn't buy happiness, there are many women out there that agree that $16 million can buy you lots of happiness. Eligible bachelor Paul Allen meets these needs. In 2008, Forbes ranked him as the 41st richest man in the world and the 12th richest man in America, with the net worth at an estimated whopping $16 billion. This 55-year-old entrepreneur co-founded Microsoft with Bill Gates, which he later left in 1983. He is also the founder and chairman of Vulcan Incorporated, as well as the chairman of Charter Communications. Paul Allen also owns three professional sports teams, which include the Seattle Seahawks, Portland Trailblazers, and the Seattle Sounders. This man was also listed as Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World for 2007 and 2008. Due to Paul Allen's notable success and recognition, it is a given that many women would want to snag this billionaire bachelor. If you are looking to marry Rich for the easy life, please use caution when getting involved. He is a 55-year-old and has never been married. This being said, one can deduce that he would not be so eager to share a $16 billion fortune. Moving to the second eligible bachelor is Ron Perlman. This 65-year-old American billionaire made his fortune buying corporations and selling them later for enormous profits. His first independent investment was the purchase of Cohen Hatfield Jewelers in 1978. Other notable purchases include the licorice maker McAndrew and Forbes, as well as the cosmetic company Revlon. Other investments over the years include a trading card and bubblegum company, a boat manufacturer, a camping company, AM General, and a handful of TV companies. This man's net worth is $11.5 billion, making him the 27th richest man in America. If his money isn't charming enough, it is also good to know that this man is a notable philanthropist, donating over $60 million to various charities. This buyout king's success may seem appealing, but keep in mind he has a reputation for his many divorces. This man has had four failed marriages, causing a red flag for some serious baggage. Good luck, ladies, in convincing him into a fifth marriage. Our next bachelor on the list is David Geffen, who made his fortune as a record executive, film producer, and theatrical producer. He's Hollywood's richest man with a net worth of $6.5 billion. He's noted for creating Asylum Records, which he later merged with Electra Records in 1972. Ten years later, he created Geffen Records, and in 1994, he founded the DreamWorks SKG studio with Steven Spielberg and Jeffrey Katzenberg. If I can get in some of his movies, I would date him. Maybe I can turn him straight. Only time will tell. Geffen also cashed in on the art market. In 2006, he sold a classic drip painting by Jackson Pollock for $140 million, which is believed to be the largest sum paid for a single piece. This man is also a well-known philanthropist. According to Forbes, in 2004, Geffen has pledged to give whatever money he makes from now on to charity. This man seems like a West Coast dream. What could possibly be wrong? The sad truth is, like I said before, David is openly gay. It is safe to conclude that at 65 years of age, he won't be converting anytime soon. If you like Beanie Babies, you'll like the next bachelor on the list. His name is Ty Warner. At 65 years old, he is chairman, CEO, and founder of Ty Incorporated. Ty Incorporated is known for manufacturing and distributing Beanie Babies and Ty Girls. Ty Warner also has licensed deals with Nickelodeon, Wonder Pets, and partnerships with Paramount. Most of his charitable contributions go towards children, including the donation of one million Beanie Babies to children in Iraq. His big heart might win you over, but the truth is, this man has never been married. This might come up as a red flag for commitment issues, considering he's over half a century old. Also, if you like being in the spotlight, you'll be disappointed to know that this man primarily resides in the humble home in uh, Oak Brook, Illinois. The public eye barely catches a glimpse of this mysterious man. So good luck, ladies, in trying to hunt him down yourself. If you ladies are just plain sick of the American men, Consider the self-made Russian bachelor on our list, Rustam Terko. 
At the age of 46, he is the youngest bachelor on the top five list with a net worth of $3.5 billion. Rustam Terako is known for being the most successful entrepreneur in Russian history. If you like your alcohol, you'll be pleased to know that in 1998, he launched Russia's first premier vodka called Russian Standard, which is exported to more than 60 countries. With looks like that, I now understand why he pursued his venture. He also launched the Russian Standard Bank, which has given consumer loans totaling over $25 billion. Terrico is also the owner of a very ornate Boeing business jet. What's not to love with a jet-set rich man that's still in his 40s? Terrico also has three kids and is on very good terms with his baby's mama, which might cause for some drama. He also stated that he never intends to leave his homeland. So if you're not willing to move to Russia, I will cut him out as an option. And finally, if I were to judge superficially, none of these guys would cut it for me. But who really cares? I sincerely hope that Marcus.com and I have helped you evaluate these successful men. This concludes our report on the world's top five richest bachelors. We wish you the best of luck on your billionaire manhunt.